Hi, this is Petros from Your AMZ, and today I'm going to cover some very easy to avoid beginner mistakes that new Amazon sellers often make. By learning to avoid these mistakes, you can put your brand in the best possible position for success when selling on Amazon. Some of the most common mistakes we see when launching our customers' brands on Amazon happen before their accounts are even created. These are also the mistakes that are the easiest to avoid if you know about them in advance. Amazon requires certain documentation for your business before you set up your account and your brand on Amazon. Here are three common mistakes that are easy to avoid when first beginning to sell on Amazon. The first mistake I'm gonna go over is not having your business set up with a proper tax ID, a checking account, or a credit card. Keep in mind, this information applies to businesses in the United States. Your country may have uh, different laws, different requirements, but these, uh, these probably would mostly apply to, to your country as well. If you want to be a legitimate Amazon seller, you have to set up a real business with a real business address. This means filling out the required paperwork with the state or country that you want to set up your business in. After you set up your business, you will need to get a tax ID, or what we call in the US an EIN. This is something you would get from the federal government. You can apply on their website or you could submit a form through the mail. Once you get this tax ID, you can now go to a bank and set up a checking account and get a credit card account for your business. You will need both of these accounts to set up your business in Amazon Seller Central. Another common mistake that, that businesses make when starting to sell on Amazon is creating an account and trying to sell without having a registered trademark. While you can sell on Amazon without a trademark, it is almost impossible to have any success without it. A registered trademark allows you to register your brand with Amazon Brand Registry. Amazon Brand Registry allows you to have some control over your brand on the Amazon platform. It also gives you access to marketing tools that you otherwise would not have access to. This includes access to creating A-plus content, creating a brand store, access to sponsored brands and sponsor display advertising, and using a GS1 barcode for Amazon FBA so that you don't have to sticker each individual unit when you send them into Amazon FBA. Probably the single most common problem we see with new brands launching on Amazon is purchasing barcodes that are not from GS1. GS1 is an organization that issues unique barcode numbers for use in any marketplace that you sell in. Amazon requires you to own your own GS1 barcodes to create a listing for your product on Amazon. Some brands, some businesses, when, when they're first starting out to save money, purchase their barcodes from a third-party company who originally bought them from GS1. These codes are often reused, which means they may already exist in Amazon's catalog under a whole different product. Amazon doesn't allow you to use these barcodes when creating a listing on Amazon. While you can add your product to Amazon's catalog without a barcode, it is not recommended. You will be unable to use this bar. You will be un unable to use your barcode in Amazon FBA if you don't set it up in your listing page. This means you will have to sticker each unit you send into FBA with Amazon's warehouse code, which will cost you quite a bit of money. By taking care to make sure you have everything in your business set up correctly before you start selling on Amazon, you will avoid three of the most common mistakes new sellers make when they first get started. Check in soon to see more beginner mistakes you should avoid in a future video or blog post.